Hi, this is uh, a simple video to help uh, people who are trying to uh, practice the maneuverability test, especially in the state of Ohio. Uh, this is a diagram. I'm going to explain first with the help of this diagram uh, how do we perform the maneuverability test. Uh, and there is some geometry involved which helps a lot in making the turns left and right. And after this diagrammatic explanation, I have uh, the following part of the video will be a practical demonstration where I'm actually driving the car and explaining how we go left and right and how we do the exact, uh, the complete maneuverability test. So assuming here we, here we are, and um, um, we would be asked either to go either to go left and come back or we would be asked to go right and come back. So initial, this is the initial position. Um, initially, you move forward. This is the first set of uh, cones, um, and you just stay stay straight over here. And this is the second set of cones. Once when you are at the second set of cones, of course you cannot stop, but uh, you can slow down. Once you are the, near the second set of cones, and your mirror, your suppose you're making a left and uh, you're making a left turn and you're coming back. And so when your when your mirror, when you can see the left cone, uh, just after, <clears throat> just next to the mirror, uh, on your rear view mirror on the left hand side, um, you make sure you just align your uh, self and you uh, one, you just observe the moment you are your left uh, rear view mirror is in line with the left cone. At that point in time, make a left turn of 180 degrees. So assuming we are first going left and coming back, the moment your left si left hand side rear view mirror is in line with the left hand side cone, that means you can just see the cone next to the mirror. At that point in time, you immediately make a 180 degrees left turn when you're going forward. So when you when 180 degrees left turn means uh, this is your steering wheel, and all you do is you turn your steering wheel to the left so that uh, this particular the center bar becomes like this so it just the center line is turned one time and it comes back to the same position um, but it is upside down that's 180 degrees you don't go completely 360 degrees but just go halfway and that's 180 degrees okay so you're going left while going forward make 180 degrees left turn like move turn the steering wheel towards the left side by 180 degrees that is just making it upside down once you do that you move forward and then when you're moving forward you keep an eye on your right hand side rear view mirror when your right hand side rear view mirror is in line with the last cone at that point in time you make a 360 degrees right turn when you're going forward so that means here, your steering wheel is like this. This is your steering wheel. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, it looks like this. So when you make a 360 degrees right turn, so let me draw again here. When you, when you make a 360 degrees right turn, what will happen is your steering wheel will, become, will come back in the same position. You just rotate this in such a, in it will become this way and then it will come back to this this position you rotate it 360 degrees okay and i can show it to you in the in the video the, in the practical video that's coming up so it's like a formula you can remember um, when going forward you make a left and when we're going left and coming back when going forward at the first cone at the first, at the second set of cones when your left hand mirror is in line with the left side cone you make a 180 degrees left turn when, and then when you move forward your right hand side mirror will be in, in line with the last cone at that point in time you make a 360 degrees right turn just geometrically 360 degrees and then after you make that 360 degrees turn you move forward once you move forward your car will be in in this location in this position and and that will be kind of parallel to the initial initial uh, position 
so here you are and now while coming back when you're coming back just don't move the steering wheel at all don't change the steering wheel at all as it is uh, just shift the gear into reverse just uh, shift the uh, transmission uh, gear stick into reverse and then start coming back uh, start your reverse journey once you're coming back your right hand side mirror will once again align with your with the last cone at this point in time <clears throat> at this point in time when you're coming back you make a 360 degrees left turn rotate your steering wheel 360 degrees towards the left hand side when you're coming back and similarly that and don't don't make any other rotations and just keep coming back and when you are back again at the second set of cones when your left hand side mirror is in line with the left cone and you're coming back what you do is you turn the steering wheel 180 degrees towards the right hand side when you're coming back so turn the steering wheel right hand to on the right rotate it to the right 180 degrees when coming back this geometrical formula will help you to go exactly through the cones and come back without touching the cones okay similarly while going towards the right and coming back when your when your right hand side mirror when you're going forward um, when your right hand side mirror is in line with the right hand side cone okay at that point in time when you're going forward make a 180 degrees right turn rotate the steering wheel 180 degrees towards the right when you're going forward then keep the steering wheel in that position just move forward and when your left hand side mirror comes in line is in line with the last cone at that point in time what you do is you turn the steering wheel 360 degrees to the left this is while moving forward so here you made a right 180 degrees to right here you make a 360, 360 degrees left and then you just move forward your car the final position of your car will be will be over here over here don't move don't do anything to the steering wheel just to change the gear stick to the reverse gear and start coming back and while coming back and when your mirror is in line with the last cone once again you turn the steering wheel rotate the steering wheel 360 degrees right while coming back okay so for because you turn 360 degrees left while going forward now you do a 360 degrees right while coming back similarly when you come back here you, your right hand side mirror will once again be in line with the second set of cones so you look on the right hand side and as soon as your <clears throat> your right hand side mirror is in line with the right hand side cone at that point in time since you're coming back you do you rotate the steering wheel 180 degrees towards the left so you can try to memorize this kind of formula and, and, and once you do that you just come back straight and you will come through you will do this test without touching a single cone so it's kind of a formula you can remember memorize while going to the left and while going to the left and coming back while going forward 180 degrees left going forward and then with the next cone 360 degrees right and while coming back 360 degrees left and here 180 degrees right similarly vice versa on the right hand side so just try to memorize i i think if you just uh, 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 try to understand a little bit it is not too difficult and uh, it's not difficult to memorize also so try to memorize this formula and uh, you can watch the, the rest of the video which is a practical test on the road all right hope this helps let's go on the road right now so we are going to, we'll go straight, uh, this is a maneuverability test, we'll go straight and left and mm -hmm. then we'll come back. Okay. Okay. So the first thing we do is uh, we come in line with the first set of cones mm -hmm. and uh, obviously they'll be just in parallel. On the left hand side you can make sure that uh, the cone is the, the cone is in line with the, with the mirrors. Okay. And then move straight, just keep going straight. When you come at the second set of cones. Uh, just when you are just uh, pause when you are at when you can see the pole uh, next to your left rear view mirror so it's, it's a position like this when you can just see the cone and it, the mirror is like this mm -hmm. at this point 
what you do is you turn the steering wheel for when you are going left you just turn it 180 degrees now this is this is 0 degrees i just do it 180 degrees just make it mm -hmm. yeah, upside down and then i go forward from here when i'm going like this mm -hmm. i keep an eye on the right hand side when the right hand side rear view mirror is in line with the pole mm -hmm. just next to it mm -hmm. right what do i do is since i took 180 degrees left now I do 180 plus 180, 360 degrees towards the right. So this is 180 and this is 360. One more. Okay, good. And then I, I go straight, I keep going straight forward and I pause when my car is just pa parallel to what it was in the initial position. Okay. So now while going back, I keep this, I keep the steering wheel as is. I don't want to make any changes. Mm -hmm. And then I just change the uh, uh, gear, gear to reverse, to reverse gear and I keep going the way I came until my right hand side rear view mirror is in line with the with the single cone that we saw initially mm -hmm. so right now my cone is right here and mm -hmm. since here i made a turn 360, 360 degrees okay. so i'm going to make a reverse 360 degrees okay. so since i do did a 360 degrees towards right i'm going to do a 360 degrees towards left so this is 180 and this is 360 okay so when I do a 360 degrees on, in the reverse direction and I just keep a casual look uh, on the left hand side and make sure that on the left hand side things are good. If things are good on the left hand side, they'll be good on the right hand side also. So when I come here, when my left hand rear view mirror is in line with the cone here, here I made a 180 degrees towards left. Hmm. So I'm going to make a 180 degrees towards right. right. Mm -hmm. So I just make a right and I am coming back out of the test. Okay, so now we are going to make a right and we are going to come back. The initial uh, run I am going to use to make the car absolutely parallel to all the four cones. So here is the first set of cones, mm -hmm. my mirrors are in line. And this is the second set of cones. Since I'm going to make a right turn, mm -hmm. I look at on the right hand side. When my cone is just past the mirror, I make a 180 degrees right. right. So when going right, 180 degrees right, 360 degrees on the left. When I come here, uh, here when I come here, so when the when the mirror 